Okay, welcome to the Cherry Creek Schools HBCU, HSI, and NASI Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen at any time to type questions to our presenters. Your camera and microphone are off, so our panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com backslash Cherry Creek. And with that, I'll turn it over to our first presenter, Clark Atlanta University. Hello, everyone, and thank you for having me. Um, it's an honor to be here to speak to everyone about my college, Clark Atlanta University. I'm a Denver native. Um, I graduated from George Washington High School in 97. I had a Fulbright scholarship to the University of Denver, and I actually had a really good friend that got accepted into Clark Atlanta University. So I went to visit Clark Atlanta University and I fell in love. Uh, the next day that I was there, we went to the admissions office and I registered to be a student and I graduated from Clark Atlanta University. Um, I have so many good things to say. I only have six minutes. Um, so there's no way that I can fit everything in six minutes just about how awesome the school is. Um, but I, I attended Clark Atlanta University from 97 to 2001. And it was literally the best experience that I've ever had in my whole entire life. Um, Clark Atlanta University is such a good campus. Um, one thing that I love about the university is that we were part of the AU Center, and that's the Atlanta University Center. In those schools, we had Morehouse, which is an all-male school. We had Spelman, which was an all-female school, and then Clark Atlanta University, which was a mixture. So for me, it was great to go to that school um, with it being um, a mixture of, of students. Um, I got my degree in criminal justice. Um, there are a ton of majors at Clark Atlanta U University. Um, when I went, I just felt a sense of um, acceptance, a sense of pride. Um, they really um, promote unity and they really care about their students. Um, there, are, um, there are scholarships. Um, the Denver chapter of Clark Atlanta University, we actually have a $500 scholarship. Um, when I was at Clark Atlanta University, I was an RA my senior year, I mean my sophomore year until my senior year. And RA is a resident assistant. So with that, I was able to get free room and board um, for the three years that I was there. So if people are looking into different scholarships, I would say definitely look into being an RA because that will give you free room, free board. Um, I was very involved in school. Um, I became a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Um, I got the RA of the Year Award. Um, I was in a number of um, organizations um, like National Honor Societies. And I was also Miss Senior. So at historically black colleges and universities, homecomings are huge. And to be on the Royal Court is a really good thing. So I was able to be on the Royal Court. Um, one thing about Clark Atlanta University is I have so many friends that graduated. It's been over a little 20 years. I'm kind of giving my age away, but so many successful people that I came across on the stage with and people are just really doing things in the community. So again, I cannot say enough about Clark Atlanta University. When I went in, I got my major as in criminal justice. Um, I wanted to be an attorney. I wanted to work for the FBI. I'm now one of the top realtors in Colorado. Um, I just got an award for being one of the top 5% real estate agents in Colorado. Um, so I just wanna say really quick um, about the schools. When you guys go into a school, you may have a major or you may switch. Um, that's okay, just make sure you guys are always having a goal because in college, it's important to make sure that you're going forward. And again, I got my degree in criminal justice, but now I'm doing real estate. Nothing to do with criminal justice at all. Um, but I, I found my path. So if you do have to change majors or if you have to change, um, it's okay. But just remember, stay focused, stay motivated. And HBC is an amazing experience. Um, it's literally changed my life. It's made me who I am. And again, I'm one of the top realtors, um, do a lot in the community and I owe it all to Clark Atlanta University. So again, I don't wanna take up too much of your guys' time, but I just wanna say thank you for having me on this panel. I'll share my information. If anybody has any questions or if there's anything that I can help somebody with, please let me know. Um, again, my name is April, April Denman on Facebook, um, uh, Denman Realty on Instagram, and that's D-E-N-M-O-N uh, Realty, R-E-A-L-T-Y. 
Um, so again, please, I love Clark Atlanta. I love HBCUs. Um, I'm from Denver. When I was um, in college, college 20 years ago, we didn't have these college tours. I didn't really know what an HBCU was. So I want you guys to please take as much information as you can, learn as much as you can, because again, we did not have these resources. So everybody on this panel, we're here to help you. We're here to share our stories. And I just encourage everybody to go for it. I'm rooting for you guys and congratulations on everything that you guys accomplished this year. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Dillard University. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, greetings, everyone. Good evening. Um, thank you all for being here. My name is Jalen Cavalier. I am one of the admissions counselors at the illustrious and the prestigious Dillard University located in the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I'm going to just share my screen really well. Let me see. Just to give you some visuals. Um, so at Dillard University, we are the oldest HBCU in the state of Louisiana, preparing the next generation of global leaders. Um, on the screen here, you see that uh, we have just been named uh, one of 50 most beautiful campuses uh, in the country. This is just part of our 55 acre campus, uh, spacious green land and gleaming white buildings. We are a private four year liberal arts HBCU. Um, we have about 1200 students enrolled full times, which makes us a small campus. So we are very family oriented. We do know you by name and face. You are not just a number at Dillard University. And that also plays a big factor in um, uh, being able to allow, uh, being able to offer resources and have those connections with our students. Uh, student to faculty ratio 14 to one, average class size is about 18 students with the large just being um, 50 students. Our academic programs, we have about 21 areas of study um, plus concentrations, um, but uh, our signature programs are gonna be film, being that we are one of four HBCUs in the country with a film program, not to mention we are located in New Orleans, which is also known as Hollywood South. Um, so our film students have the opportunity to work on four to 10 Hollywood films before they graduate. Uh, nursing, historically, we are the oldest accredited nursing program in the state of Louisiana. Um, we have the number one mock trial team when it comes to our pre-law program, and we are number two in the country producing African Americans with a physics degree. We're number one producing African American females. Uh, as far as athletics, we are D1, part of NAIA. We have men's and women's basketball, men's and women's track and field and cross country, as well as women's volleyball. And we have a cheer team, a dance team, and a palm squad, if uh, that's what you're interested in. Uh, as far as housing, so we have um, one co-ed dorm, two female dorms, one male dorm and apartment housing. When it comes to Dillard University, there are no community bathrooms. That is one of the biggest questions I get. Um, there are no community bathrooms. Your bathroom is in your room. Um, so that's nothing to worry about there. And each floor has a lounge, but they're all set up differently. Um, we have over 50, well now it's 60, active student organizations on campus, which include fraternities and sororities. Um, shout out to the brothers at A5A if anybody is on the call. Um, we also have homecoming. Uh, a lot of people assume because we don't have a football team anymore that we don't have homecoming. You still can run for homecoming court. We still have tailgates, homecoming parades, the whole nine. You do still get that experience. Of course, not now, being that we're in a pandemic, but before all of that. Um, as far as becoming a Blue Devil, so what it takes to be admitted. For general admission, it's just a 2.5 GPA with at least an 18 on the ACT or a 960 on the SAT. That, automat that is automatic admission, uh, and it comes with a $6,000 grant. Um, as far as test optional requirements, you only have to have a 3.0 GPA and you have to complete the test optional form unless you fill out um, the common application or the Dillard University website application where it gives you that option. And there are uh, plenty of scholarship resources. Um, so when it comes to funding your education, Dillard University is a private institution. We do not have out of state fees. Everybody looks at the same numbers. Um, but in addition to merit scholarships that you get based off of GPAs and test scores, uh, there are also other scholarship resources to explore. Um, the biggest I would say is UNCF. Uh, that is one of our biggest partners um, for a lot of HBCUs in that regard. But uh, for us specifically, uh, we even have a scholarship named after one of our previous presidents, Dr. Lomax. So uh, please, please, please apply to everything you possibly we can. Um, I always encourage students, no matter where you plan to attend, apply, apply, apply to everything you can come up with. Um, ways to apply online to uh, become a student, of course, the Dillard University website, the CBCA Common Black College application, as well as the Common app. Um, and of course, we'd love for you to follow and chat with us um, if you have any additional questions. I know I sped through that. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I allotted enough time. But um, those are just a few, a few amazing things about uh, the illustrious Dillard University. Not to mention, we are one of the seven um, Ivy League institutions uh, in, amongst HBCUs.
Excellent. Thank you. Our next presenter is Morehouse College. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Alex Malone. I am uh, I re represent Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia, class of 95. So I'm a little bit older than the audience uh, and even the uh, some of the facilitators here. Um, Morehouse College started off as Augustus uh, Seminary in 1867 in um, Springfield Baptist Church in Augusta, Georgia. And uh, it moved later on to uh, Friendship Baptist Church in, in Atlanta, and we would we would share a space with Spelman College, and that was back then it was known as uh, the uh, Atlanta Female Baptist Seminary. But we eventually separated, and we're located on both both campuses, along with Clark Atlanta University, as part of the AUC consortium. We're located in the Southwest Atlanta, Southwest of downtown. Um, we have about 20, 2,200 students. 86%, uh, about 86% of them are on um, financial aid, over uh, 40 student organization. Our faculty to student ratio is about 14 to one. Uh, right now we have, uh, I can give you the, the exact numbers on tuition, um, $25,000 for tuition and fees, room and board is $13,000. It is a private institution, so we don't have any, um, uh, state uh, state fees or anything or in-state or in out-of-state, everybody's looking at the same bill. Um, Morehouse College offers several different majors um, and it's a highly competitive field. Specifically, uh, where the school is divided into uh, business administration and economics, creative and performing arts, uh, experiential learning and interdisciplinary studies, which houses our software engineering, humanities, uh, life sciences, mathematics and computational studies, social sciences and, uh, and cultural studies. Now among those majors, um, you may say you do yourself, it's Morehouse College. Um, we have a, a, a diverse set of majors with, within that, including uh, uh, Africana studies, art, art history, biology, business. Um, in Morehouse, you can study early to childhood education uh, you can also study uh, engineering and we have a 3-2 program, which is uh, you go for three years at Morehouse, you attend if you uh, want to become an engineer, you attend there. And then there's a consortium of schools, including University of Michigan, uh, Georgia Tech and um, Caltech uh, out in California, where you would earn the rest of your degree and you would earn two degrees coming out of Morehouse College. Um, our retention rate is about 80 from freshman year to uh, to second year is about 83%. Um, we are all male school. Some of our uh, luminary uh, illustrious uh, alumni include Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., uh, Spike Lee, Samuel L. Jackson, R&B singer uh, P.J. Morton, track star, Ernest uh, Edwin Moses, and the list goes on and on. And Morehouse College happens to produce, is the highest producer of black men that go on to earn a PhD. We have been there since 1867. So that's 154 years of excellence. Um, I'll put my information in the chat in case you want to reach me directly and to know more about the school and about the admission process. We do accept the Common App and you can go directly to our website and, and apply there. Other than that, I attended Morehouse in the 90s, so that was a different time, a different place, but it was a beautiful experience. As the sister said before, we have uh, the other schools in the AUC, including uh, Clark Atlanta, uh, Spelman, and, and uh, <clears throat> I, ITC, the International Theological Center, and we all are there for each other and with each other. We have a good time. Um, I belong to the band when I was there. We have an excellent marching band. I was also part of student uh, government. I was a, a representative for a while. So it's a robust campus. You'll, your, your experience will be balanced with the challenges in the classroom and outside of the classroom. There's a standard of excellence that we have at Warhouse that is generational and you are expected to reach it. So if you have any questions or anything, my name is Alex Malone. I'll put my information in the chat in case you need anything. Um, and I can direct you to the right people and how to get more information and scholarships and, and how to apply. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Tougaloo College. Full of prestige and history, our methods are no mystery. Academic merit, laying a helping hand, that is the Tougaloo woman, and that is the Tougaloo man. Greetings, my name is Joel Swan, and welcome to the historic Tougaloo College. Founded 1869, just four short years removed from the creation of Juneteenth, but also six short years removed from the Emancipation Proclamation. We are where history meets the future. Again, my name is Joel Swan. Shout out to the Office of Enrollment Management and Student Engagement here at the Historic Tougaloo College. Again, we'll take you on a ride. We are the second oldest historically black college in the state of Mississippi, okay? Um, not, only are we where, not only are we where history meets the future, but we are the cradle of the civil rights movement. We're founded by the American Missionary Association. Though we were founded by the American Missionary Association, we were paid for by the Freedmen's Bureau. So that's just a little history for the time and texture that we're in. So not only shout out to the Office of Enrollment Management and Student Engagement, but shout out to our 14th and second female president, Dr. Carmen J. Walters, who is in the light blue suit. And we all know the 46th president, president in the dark blue suit, President Joseph R. Biden. We're located 10 miles north of the downtown Jackson City Center. Um, we're split in between Ridgeland, Madison, and Jackson, though we are located in Tougaloo, Mississippi. On this 500-acre campus, Tougaloo College, its name is even historic. So why Tougaloo College? Minimum requirements are 2.0 evidence of an ACT or SAT score. No out-of-state fees, no application fees, no excuses, okay? Total enrollment, 800. Manageable student to professor ratio, 15 to 1. We are nationally ranked by the US News and World Report for the best economically valued institution. 8,374 is what you'll pay per academic semester. You do that times two, you'll have the cost, $16,748 for the actual year that you spend per year, okay? Do that times four, you have the cost for the four years that you are there. We are the top 25 producers of graduates who earn PhDs in science and engineering with over 40% of all the doctors, lawyers, and educators who live, work, and practice in and around the great state of Mississippi receiving their degree from Tougaloo College. Over 60% of our graduates um, who attend graduate and professional school, they walk off the stage, turn their tassels, and walk straight into a graduate or professional situation. Academic divisions, we have four of them. The Division of Natural Science, the Division of Social Science, education and humanities underneath those divisions there are four there are 29 academic programs two graduate programs in education only so you can receive your baccalaureate degree your associates excuse me your baccalaureate and your master's degree in education from Tougaloo college some of our exclusive partnerships swirl themselves around the pre-med emphasis the pre-law pre-engineering pre-health underneath our pre-nursing emphasis and we do have a partnership with our local jackson public school system why Tougaloo College again? Biology and biology pre-med. We have over a 50 year partnership with Brown University and their pre-med emphasis. Uh, and we've also embarked on our public health. Tougaloo College is now embarking on a, a standalone business administration degree, cybersecurity and data science, okay? Pre-law is three plus three. You'll get your JD in six versus the required eight years. Pre-engineering, we do have computer, chemical, mechanical, electrical, aerospace, and aeronautics underneath that area of study. We also have pre-health pre underneath, pre-nursing underneath our pre-health area. It's fee program, the freshman early entry nursing program. So keep that in mind when you talk about our academics. There are four scholarships internal. I won't go all the way over them. You have the presidential, the provost, those are full ride scholarships. And then we'll round out the four with our servant leader, and our Eagle scholarships. The presidential and provost are full ride scholarships. You must have a 3.5 with the 
you must have a 3.5 with the um, specified ACT requirements and SAT requirements uh, and or SAT requirements um, on those, as well as you must have your application, two letters of recommendation, and you must complete the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid. The um, Servant Leader and Eagle Scholarships, those are partial scholarships, valedictorian and salutatorian, either your first or your second in your respective area. Um, the Servant Leader is half tuition, the Eagle is uh, full tuition only, okay? So when you keep that in mind, the deadline date is March uh, 15th for our seniors on this call. So keep that in mind. We do function under five pillars of student activities, political and social awareness, holistic health, leadership development, gender-based empowerment, we do not discriminate, and the Tougaloo Renaissance. We pick you up where you are, pour into you, and we provide you the set of eagle wings, wings so that you can soar like the eagles that you all are. Student Government Association, we have a robust Student Government Association, Student Ambassador Program, over, over 40 clubs and organizations, and we do have a robust Greek life, which yours truly is a part of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Athletics, I will just go through um, the ones that are new to us. Males, we have our new golf team. Females, we do have competitive cheerleading and dance, flag football and our golf. We are Division One AA, we function underneath the NAIA, which is the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics, and we uh, uh, fall up under the Gulf Coast Athletic Conference, and we are Mississippi United. So link, link up with me, please do. I want you to apply, apply, apply. Um, scan that barcode. It'll take you directly to our application. You can apply with us. If you don't wanna apply right now, you can apply to, at the uh, interim, but follow us on social media. We are at TC Recruitment on Instagram, at TC Recruitment or double underscore on Twitter. And we go live every Friday on Facebook um, underneath Tougaloo Enrollment. Thank you so much. Connect with me. My name is Joel Swan. That is me. That's not the actual size of me. I love my five foot eight um, self, 601-977-7771. Jay Swan at Tougaloo.edu. This is Tougaloo College. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Colorado State University, Pueblo. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Minnick. I am an admissions counselor here at Colorado State University Pueblo. And I'm also an alumni of CSU Pueblo as well as many of the colleagues are alumni of their university. And I'm so excited to share with you why I love CSU Pueblo. Throughout today's presentation, you will see QR codes. If you would scan those, that will bring you some more information about CSU Pueblo. We will begin the presentation. I'm going to uh, make sure that I'm going to share the audio because I want to show you guys a video real quick because it's a really great opportunity to learn about CH Pueblo more than just me rambling on about it. So here we go. At CSU Pueblo, we are writing our own story. A story of culture. Cultura. This means embracing diversity, challenging conventional knowledge, taking risks, breaking rules, and changing the educational and academic scenario. At CSU Pueblo, our belief and trust in people defines us. A story of our people. Gente. We reject the idea that there is only one type of student who can obtain a college degree, and that students and teachers have to look and act in a certain way to fit in the traditional mold of higher education. A story of our community. Comunidad. Our students, professors, staff, and community have served many people for years by guiding students and providing them opportunities for practical and experiential learning that will allow them to use their potential and determination to go forward and contribute to Southern Colorado in a meaningful way. Be a part of our culture, people, and community. Start your story at CSU Pueblo. And I know it's a little cheesy, but I love that last line, start your story here at CSU Pueblo. And the reason I love that line is because that is what you are doing today. You are starting your story by listening to different colleges present today. So CSU Pueblo, we are in Pueblo, Colorado. That's about an hour and 45 minutes south of you guys up there in Denver. Depends on that Denver traffic. 
We are in Pueblo, Colorado, which has about 300 days of sunshine. It, Denver, it snows and kind of lingers on here. If it snows, it melts away within the next day or two. Uh, technically, if you wanted to, you could get on the go to DIA and get a connecting flight down to Pueblo because we do have an airport 10 minutes from campus if that's something you'd like to do. But it's just to drive down. So it's far enough away where you could be your own person. But if you need to go home for, I don't know, mom or dad, grandma's birthday, you just go north for an hour and a half. We are a Hispanic serving institution with about 4,000 students. Our average class size is 21 students. 32% of our students identify as first generation. That means that their parents or guardians do not have a bachelor's degree, which does provide a scholarship, which we'll talk about. 47% of our students are minority as well. And we are Colorado's first Purple Heart designated institution, which makes us a, uh, we really care for our veterans and their families. I am sending you guys in the chat my contact info as well. We have over 80 different areas of study ranging from accounting to world languages. When I was a student at CSU Pueblo, I was a communications and marketing major. I loved what I did. We have all sorts of different programs ranging from the business school, so that includes business management, accounting, economics, marketing, to a new degree we started offering. It's a double major in biology and chemistry with an emphasis in the cannabis plant. So it's a cannabis biology chemistry program. We also offer three plus two programs. So that's where you get your bachelor's degree in three years and your master's degree in two, all of the cost of undergraduate tuition. So we do that in five different areas listed there in the bottom right-hand corner. And we also have a really great nursing program that I think you might wanna look into. Life outside the classroom, there's so much to get involved in. 75 different clubs and organizations, academic being that of uh, like sociology, criminology clubs, social, it's just for fun. We have like Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of thing. Religious, exactly what it sounds like. We have Pat Catholic, Young Life Crew. Multicultural, we do have Ballet Folklorico. We have the Black Student Union, the Latinx Student Union. We have five different sororities and fraternities on campus. And I was so excited to hear April say that she is part of AKA. We do have a chapter of AKA. So ski we, I believe that's what they say here at the CSU Pueblo campus. Associated Student Government, that's essentially student council. We offer that as well. The rec center is a free gym for you as a student. So there's all sorts of treadmills and weightlifting equipment, all sorts of fun stuff of going to the gym is your cup of tea. And the student engagement and leadership, they put on over 50 different events throughout the year. So if you saw that video at the beginning, there was like a poker night, there's been, uh, we have a big concert they put on. So last year, well, before COVID, we had DJ Polly D, we've had 303, we've had uh, Andy Grammer, Dan and Shay, all sorts of great artists performing on campus through the Student Engagement Leadership Office. We do require students to live on campus for the first two years. And the way it's set up is you and a roommate, a shared bathroom, two suite mates. So it's four people sharing a bathroom. There is no communal living at CSU Pueblo. So if you've seen Pitch Perfect, you don't have to walk down to a shower house. Tuition rates are listed right here. For in-state tuition, because you guys are from Colorado, it's about 10,000. And that is from August to May with 30 credits in total. So that's August with 15 in the fall semester, 15 in the spring semester. With the housing and meals, everything comes out to about 20,000. That does not include any scholarships, which are listed right here. To get scholarships, it's all based off of merit. So based off your ACT or SAT, your class rank or your GPA. We are test optional for the class of 2021. So if you were unable to take the ACT or SAT, we are flexible for that. So there's an opportunity to get $8,000 just for good grades. My last shameless spiel is to invite you to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at PAC Admissions posting a lot of great information over there that you don't wanna miss. And there's a scholarship or two sometimes as well. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, please use that Q and A chat. I also sent you my cell phone number in the chat as well. So I look forward to hearing from you and thank you guys so much for your time today. Thank you so much. Our final presenter tonight is Nova Southeastern University. Hi everyone, my name is Christopher Rogers. I'm one of the admissions counselors at Nova Southeastern University. Uh, we're a private uh, research university located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 
Um, we are a minority majority campus. We have 5,600 undergraduate students. Um, our student body is broken down. Um, we have over, we have students from over a hundred different countries. We have students represented from all 50 states within the US. Um, and our average class size is about 17 students per class, which is great if you wanna to get to know your professors. Um, our professors, you know, get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with their students. Um, if students miss a class, they'll always reach out to the students to ask where they are. So it's a, it can be a blessing, it can be a curse as well. Um, this is my favorite aspect of NSU. It's called our Excel program. Uh, and basically this program is designed to get you outside of the classroom, getting you firsthand experience um, in your field. So the way it works is in order to graduate, you need to collect what we call four units of Excel. Um, obviously every university wants their students to get firsthand experience in their field. Um, at NSU, it's a requirement to graduate. Um, so you collect those units of Excel through the three categories you see on your screen. Um, we have study abroad and travel study. Um, basically, study abroad is a full uh, semester in another country, whereas the uh, travel study is just two weeks in another country where you focus um, on what your area of study is. So we've had students um, studying marine biology that have gone to the Galapagos Islands. We've had students who are interested in the medical field who've gone on mission trips all over the, the world. So some pretty cool opportunities there. Um, the next area is career development. Uh, you do that through internships and shadowing opportunities. Um, and you can do that without actually having to leave campus. So we have a kindergarten through 12th grade private school on campus for education majors. Our business majors have the opportunity to start their own businesses on campus. The Miami Dolphins are located on campus. So students interested in working for professional sports teams can get opportunities with them. Um, we have a ER on campus, a hospital that's being built for our medical students. So really cool opportunities right there on campus. Um, and then research, we're doing research in every single uh, field you can think of here at NSU. This next area that I'm gonna discuss is called our uh, premier programs. The first one I'll talk about is Razor's Edge Scholars Program. It comes with a $24,000 scholarship. There's five different tracks that you can see there down on the bottom of your screen. Uh, global research leadership, shark talent for students interested in the arts, and shark teach for students interested in education. The next program is called dual admissions. So if you have a good idea of what graduate school program you'd like to attend, you can actually apply during your senior year of high school to reserve your seat. Um, it's a great way to get into some competitive programs. Um, our med school, for example, has about 10,000 applicants each year for about 200 spots. Uh, when you're applying through dual admission, you're not competing with those 10,000 applicants. Um, if you do reserve a seat in our graduate school program, you're only competing with yourself. You just need to make sure um, that you're taking care of all the minimum requirements. The next program is an accelerated program for education majors. Uh, you get your bachelor's in three years in education, your master's in the fourth year in education, and a guaranteed teaching job in the state of Florida. Uh, this program comes with a $20,000 scholarship. And then the next program is called the Heisinga Business Innovation Academy, um, which is another accelerated program. You get your bachelor's and your MBA in just four years. And upon graduation, if you have a business idea, you can pitch it to NSU um, for the opportunity to be awarded $20,000 in startup funds. If you're interested in any of those programs, you'd first have to apply to the university, um, and then you'd have to submit another application for those programs, and then you'd uh, attend a shark preview weekend, which is basically a weekend in which you're going to interview for those programs. Uh, this year they're virtual. Hopefully next year we can get back to hosting them on campus where you'd stay in the residence halls, you'd be eating at the dining halls on campus, and then you'd also interview for those programs. So the next uh, thing I'm going to talk about is where we're located. We're located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, just 10 minutes away from Fort Lauderdale Beach, which is pictured right there on your screen. Um, it's a great place to go to school. Average temperature year round is 77 degrees. Um, we just had a cold front come through this week um, and it got down to the low 60s. So you see our local students uh, dressed up in their winter gear while these students that are coming from up north are wearing shorts and a t-shirt. These are the scholarships we offer here at NSU. First, we have the Dean Scholarship, which is anywhere from five to $19,000 awarded to all students who are admitted to the university. 
the Razor's Edge Scholars Program that we talked about before, uh, the scholarship is actually $24,000, and then Fischler and Heisinga are both uh, $20,000 scholarships. If you're interested in applying, here's how you do it. You can either submit uh, your comment, the comment application, or you can go to our website and submit through there. Um, then we'll need your official high school transcripts. Um, this year we were test optional. Um, so if you weren't able to take your test scores this year, you can go ahead and submit those. Um, and then we also, you can also submit uh, letters of recommendation and an optional essay. So that's it for uh, my spiel on NSU. Um, if you'd like to reach out with any questions, you can do so. There's my contact information. Thank you so much. Um, if we just maybe want to go around and do one uh, little Q and A here, um, I have a couple questions for you all. I'll just do one, and it's going to be, what is your favorite event or, or tradition on campus? I'll go first. Um, I'll say for Clark Atlanta University, our favorite, and I kind of touched on this earlier, is homecoming. Um, if you have not been to a homecoming for at a historically Black college or university, you are totally missing out. It doesn't matter what race, nationality you are. It's the, it's the biggest event of the year for us every year. I'll concur with that at Morehouse College, but I'll also add my favorite um, event is graduation. It's a powerful thing to see two or 300 black men stand up and get a degree from a prestigious uh, college and, and of, of excellence. But yes, it, and to see all those people there. Um, some of our literature has shown brothers sitting in the rain receiving those degrees, but you know what, it's worth it. Um, so either homecoming or graduation. I'll say, uh, what's up Wednesdays um, on our campus um, where you come out and you fly as gear. Um, you know, we got the Greek stepping, um, you know, it's just, it's one of the things, one of the highlights of our campus. And I would also uh, echo the sentiments of my Morehouse brother is uh, graduation because we do a rites of passage ceremony. There's nothing like uh, the rites of passage ceremony um, at an HBCU, but specifically at Tougaloo College um, with the African drums and traditional African drums and um, kind of ushering you out of your um, collegiate experience and your matriculation and everything you've been through and ushering you into your new life as a college graduate into your uh, professional career. And I, I definitely um, agree with uh, the three colleagues before me. Um, homecoming for sure, uh, especially at HBCUs because homecoming is not just one day. <laughs> it, it lasts the whole week. Um, and graduation, of course, because uh, like Mr. Malone has said, it's a very uh, powerful thing, um, you know, seeing a lot of these African-American students and some of them, you know, who come from backgrounds that uh, may not have basically encourage them to pursue those goals. Um, that is, you know, very amazing to see and very powerful, not to mention, you know, the, the guest speakers that you might have, but those are definitely uh, two of the biggest events. And one thing I kind of touched on, oh, sorry, April. Uh, I kind of touched on it in my presentation, uh, the PACFest event that the CL Student Engagement Leadership Office puts on. It's honestly a big music festival. There's bounce houses and all sorts of fun stuff, but, I, and I love that one, but I think we have 21 different uh, sports teams here at CSU Pueblo from football to soccer and that sort of thing. And so just going to a game is so much fun just to cheer on the Thunderwolves. We get free tickets for every home game and there's usually some form of tailgate and free food and free t-shirts that it just, the vibe is it's so much fun. And uh, my favorite tradition at NSU is during homecoming week, we have an event called the Anything Floats Boat Race. Um, where all the clubs and organizations, the sororities, the fraternities, uh, go around campus looking for supplies to put together a raft, um, and then they try to race across the, the lake on campus. Um, it's called the Anything Floats Boat Race, but I'd say about 90% of the rafts that they put together go right down. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, absolutely hilarious to watch. Okay, well, thank you, everyone. And thank you all for joining us tonight. When this window closes, there'll be a link to a quick four question survey. We appreciate any feedback that you can provide. 
We're also hosting a number of additional sessions, so please be sure to sign up. And then in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as others at strivescan.com uh, backslash Cherry Creek. Thank you, and uh, thank you to all our facilitators. Have a great day. All right, God bless y'all. <laughs> yeah, have a good night. Wash your hands, watch your distance, wear your mask, and worship over yourself. Pray over yourself. Yes, thank you, everybody. Good night. Shout out. Good night, everyone from Dero Morehouse. Good night.